hey guys, guys and welcome, welcome to, to Vlogmas Day 8. Today is Friday. Fridays is usually the day I have personal training, but my personal trainer just texted me and told me I don't have training today, so I'm actually a little bit relieved knowing I have that time to kind of do whatever I want with. Not that I don't love working out or anything like that, because I do. It's just nice to have a break once in a while. Today, we are going to be decorating that beast in the corner. I still have to figure out if I'm going to spray it white or if I'm going to add flocking. I'm nervous I'm going to mess it up, and I don't want it to look bad, so I almost am tempted to just leave it as is but I really do love the look of like a flocked tree. I have to work on getting yesterday's vlog done and we posted yesterday's vlog earlier in the morning. Well not earlier in the morning it was like noon but we're gonna post the vlogs from now on during the week probably in the afternoon just because I feel like that's a better time for me to get them up. So tentatively that is the plan. We'll see how things play out. I'm actually going to start off with using some of this stuff and I used to use this when I was a kid like we would always put the most tacky stuff on our tree. I don't even know why my mom let us do that. There would be like tons of fake snow, tinsel, and just crap everywhere. But I'm going to test the backside with some fake snow and that way if I don't like it, then it's just like the people walking by that have to see it and not me. I'm going to also try to put on some flocking powder and see if that looks okay. Maybe if it does, then I'll do like fake snow and then certain areas with some flocking powder. We're gonna see how this goes. I hope this is not gonna be like a DIY fail. Wait, Gabby! I'm going to try a light coat first and then I'm going to add some flocking powder on top. Here goes nothing. It looks kind of nice in the camera. I feel like I almost like the green better. This is what it's looking like so far. This is what my floor is looking like. This stuff gets everywhere. But I mean, maybe it's because the back side is not as full as the front side. And maybe I just need to add some blocking. But then how do I even block up there? This is like two times my height. I've given the tree a few minutes to dry. It's been about like 20 minutes now. I'm going to attempt to flock it. This is my flocking powder. This is what I'll be using to flock it with. This is the spray bottle of water that's going to make everything bond. I love the effect of the flocking powder. This side is just flocking powder. There was no fake snow underneath. This side is where I had some fake snow sprayed underneath. Think that if I'm not able to flock the entire tree, if I run out of powder, then I'll just use fake snow in the areas that I can't flock and that way it'll kind of like make everything blend together. I really like how it looks. I'm going to let the flocking powder dry for a little bit. We're going to flock the other side of the tree. Sebastian and I are just getting up yesterday's vlog. I'm going to work on the thumbnail now. And then Sebastian's going to go to Walmart and pick up a flower sifter, one of the proper ones, where it holds the powder in it. You just kind of squeeze and it comes out. The one I'm using right now, the powder falls out the entire time. That is a little update. And just going to go through my footage from yesterday to see what I can use for a thumbnail. I always forget to take a thumbnail picture. I think I'm going to make the vlog something about baking. I feel like there was nothing really else going on in that vlog that I can really use as a title or a thumbnail. <laughs> just posted a video and Sebastian is currently working on some of the tags for the video. I'm playing with slime. You guys probably think it's so weird that I constantly have slime in my hands. If you guys get easily distracted like I do, for instance, when I'm editing, I will usually have slime in my hand so that I can keep focused on what it is I'm doing. When a file is rendering and I need to sit there and wait for a couple minutes for something to finish processing, I will usually have slime in my hand. That will keep me from getting distracted and going into like a web browser and abandoning my project entirely. It 
it's a little bit later now and as you can tell i've been chilling in my pjs all day long i'm going to be getting ready in a little bit because we're going to head out right now we're going to start to flock the tree so that it has a good chance to dry while we're out sebastian went to walmart to pick up a sifter and he's going to help me do this i'm really hoping that it does not ruin the tree crossing my fingers first step is to heavily mist the tree that is heavily misted Oh, that's not good. Whoa. Okay, so this is exactly the same situation as the last one. Okay, but it looks kind of cute, doesn't it? I'm getting it literally everywhere. <laughs> God. I'm really making this look like I do not know how to do DIYs. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. You have to help me. This is worse than the other one. You know what? I'm going to go back to using the other one. It's way easier. I don't know what I was thinking. Seriously, this sucks. <laughs> Target now. We had a nightmare at the border. It was supposed to be a 10 minute wait and it ended up taking us an hour and a half. I was planning to come to Michael's in the US because I need some paper that they don't have at our Michael's in Canada. It's kind of like backdrop paper. It gives you like a seamless backdrop, but that was a little bit of a fail. So now we are at Target grabbing some stuff for my next video. Thanks I also want to grab a few things for decor and stuff. I really want those pillows that I talked about last time <laughs> that I didn't get, so I'm going to get them this time. I want to grab some snacks. Always. This is so cute. I really like this. I feel like I could DIY why this if i bought the stone we wasted so much time at the border that i'm feeling a little bit stressed out i was supposed to go back and decorate my tree after all of this i need to get two reindeers are they out of reindeer pillows why didn't i get them last time why didn't i get them last time so tempted to buy another one of these just because i love them so much sure. i love this table do you love this table it's so much nicer than the other ones that they had like the gold bases it don't is you really think nice, yeah. Ooh, this looks so cool i'm looking for spray paint right now and they don't actually have any of the kinds i need but they have this glitter stuff that you can add to any paint to make it sparkle and it might just be me and it might actually be really tacky but i think that's so amazing this fashion asked them and they don't have any more of the reindeer pillows this is my fault though i knew better last time i was here i was like i need to get it i'm gonna regret it what do you know i regret it i want to get one of the polar bear ones instead i'm really tempted to get this table i just wish the top part was a little bit nicer we're grabbing a quick bite to eat before we head back over the border at red robins now target was a little bit of a fail but i did find some things that i didn't think i'd be able to find anywhere else that was a little bit of a success so overall i kind of broke even <laughs> Okay, so I got the Whiskey River barbecue chicken burger, but I got it with grilled cod instead with some fries. Sebastian got the Whiskey River barbecue chicken burger with fries and then chipotle mayo and gravy. We just got back from the States. The tree is completely dry. I'm going to attempt to do as much of the decorating as I can tonight. Whatever I can't do, I will finish tomorrow. But this is what the tree looks like. I actually really like it. It looks really nice and wintry. I didn't like it quite as much earlier. I think the flocking powder hadn't completely set. Because there's a lot of the branches that go upwards, I actually sprayed the fake snow underneath so that the underneath side was white and it wasn't this stark contrast between the white and the dark green underneath. This is the finish product a little bit of a close-up it's completely dried on and nothing's coming off which is awesome I'm going to show you guys what I got from Target and then I'm going to end the vlog so to start off I got a bunch of wrapping papers so these ones here are from the dollar section and this one is just like a fair aisle print which is super cute especially considering it's only a dollar this one is just like a brown paper bag type paper and i like this for those more natural looking gifts and then i got this sugar paper gift wrap which is oh my gosh absolutely adorable but incredibly expensive this roll was six dollars alone so i will be reserving that for the good gifts and then i got this one as well which was also six dollars so again reserving it for the good gifts Sebastian got this gold and marble hourglass Glass. He's obsessed with hourglasses. I will say that this is probably the cutest one he's ever pointed out to me and it was only $20 But this thing if it was at like Potter Barn or Crate and Barrel or something would easily be like $60 So this is a great deal and it feels really high quality Especially the marble it looks really nice and you guys saw how obsessed I was with these pillows I wish I had gotten two reindeer and they look really nice against my sofa because my sofa is like the exact same color So it just looks like the same color with like a nice pop of contrast and then from the dollar 
$5 section. I got these at two little jars. Super cute. They're actually really dirty right now, so they'll have to be cleaned. But I love how they look together. You can really put anything in them. I also got these from the dollar section. So it's just this oven mitt type thing and a dish towel. I got this adorable box. I absolutely love the dusty rose color of this. And then the gold trim is so pretty. And it actually matches this perfectly. Is that the same company? Yeah the same company and then I got a couple things that if I show them it'll probably give away what I'm doing for my next video so I'm going to save those but we also got these peppermint pretzel things the ones from Trader Joe's were so freaking delicious I hope these taste the same because if they do oh they're just heaven we also got some Kit Kat and a multi pack of some chocolate bars and I think, I think that's it that is everything I got from Target thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video with the little flocking DIY and the haul. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog for Vlogmas Day 9. Bye guys. Merry Christmas.